Hi, my name is Gerhard Schwartner. Welcome to Selling Power TV. Today, we have a special guest joining us from Athens, Greece. It is Aristotle himself. Hey, Ari, what up? What up, man? Good to see you, Gerhard. Are you keeping up with what's going on in this world? Of course. Part of personal growth is about understanding yourself and the world we live in. Ari, 2,000 years ago, you were teaching your students how to develop positive mental habits. Yes, of course. One of my best students was Alexander the Great. A lot of people are fascinated how you helped Alexander to move from good to great. It is all about cultivating your mindset, a concept that you've been writing about in Selling Power magazine. Yes. Did you know, by the way, that Lewis Howe um, just developed a new book he published a book called The Greatness Mindset. Of course. He is an author, entrepreneur, and former professional athlete. He is best known for his book, The School of Greatness, a self-help book that provides advice on how to achieve personal and professional success. Wow, I'm impressed that you know all this. We make it our business to expand our knowledge. Remember Gerhardt, the word philosophy means love of wisdom. And Lewis is also the host of the School of Greatness podcast. F yes, he interviewed successful individuals from various fields and shares their insights. So tell me, Ari, what impresses you about Lewis? How he learned from setbacks. I always taught my students about the importance of perseverance and resilience in the face of setbacks. Lewis is a great example. He suffered a career-ending injury while playing professional football, which forced him to change his life goals and pursue a new career path. He also struggled with depression and contemplated suicide at one point in his life. But he staged a comeback by focusing on personal growth, developing new skills, and building a successful career. Who are some of the most interesting people that Lewis interviewed for his podcast? Tony Robbins, Maria Sharapova, and Matthew McConaughey come to mind. That is fascinating. Um, can, can you share what Lewis Howe learned from interviewing Tony Robbins? First, the power of visualization. Tony talked about the importance of visualizing your goals and dreams. If you create a clear mental image of what you want to achieve, you can develop the focus and motivation to make it happen. Second, Tony stressed the importance of taking action. He encourages people to take massive action towards their goals even if they are unsure of the outcome. Third, Tony talked about the impact of gratitude on one's happiness and fulfillment in life. He suggested that people should develop a daily gratitude practice to focus on the positive aspects of their lives. Can you share what Lewis learned from Maria Sharapova, the tennis star? Sharapova talked about how she had to overcome many setbacks and injuries throughout her tennis career. She said that resilience and persistence are critical success factors. Second, she mentioned the value of hard work. She reflected on how hard work and discipline were essential to her success as a professional tennis player. Third, Sharapova talked about how failure taught her important lessons and helped her grow as a person. I learned that Lewis suffered from a traumatic experience in his early childhood. Um, can you tell us about it? Lewis has spoken publicly about being sexually abused as a child. He has described it as one of the biggest traumas he has had to overcome in his life. In his book, The Mask of Masculinity, he talks about how this experience led him to hide his emotions and put up a facade of strength and toughness to protect himself from further harm. However, he eventually realized that this was preventing him from forming meaningful relationships and achieving true happiness. Well, what fascinates me is that Lewis has the courage to become his true, authentic self. Uh, that reminds me, didn't you come up with a good quote about authenticity? Can you share that? I said, to quote myself, to be yourself in a world that is constantly trying to make you something else is the greatest achievement. Well, thank you. Uh, let's cover one more famous person that Lewis interviewed, Matthew McConaughey. Well, I am glad you asked. That interview got close to 3 million views on YouTube. Here are two cool ideas. First, he talked about how he learned to appreciate the journey of life 
rather than just focusing on the destination. He tells people to enjoy the process and embrace the ups and downs that come with it. Second, he talked about the importance of maintaining strong relationships with family, friends, and loved ones. Invest the time and effort in building meaningful connections. It pays big dividends. Well, Ari, I'm grateful to have you as a wise friend. Gerhardt, it is always a privilege to share great ideas. Ari, go sell something. I strongly recommend that your readers get a copy of The Greatness Mindset on Amazon.com. And Harry Stowe. Periclo.